right, scribers, in this video we're going to go over setting a required field for required photographs. So the idea behind this, particularly with multi-inspection firms or, or really any home inspection company, you may have the uh, required fields like you want to take a photograph of every bathroom, you know, just like a cursory photo. And if you want to set that, um, it, it's easy to do. So let me show you the way that I've always done photos for bathrooms is um, let's go into the powder bath uh, chapter for a second. It's just a blank field. So I have a section up here that's just general bathroom photos. If I leave it blank, I leave it blank. If I don't, you know, if I want to put pictures in there, I do. So that's really pretty fast. I, I kind of love, love that. Um, but the bummer is like you could forget to put them in <laughs> so to try to help you remember to do it another option would be to create overview bathroom photos you could call this whatever you want now notice over here on the required fields we're at 192 um, as soon as i click this little camera icon i get a blank box and I can now um, put these pictures in. And when I do that, I have now gone to 191. So this is a now required field that I have to fill in, which is helpful. I mean, that will help keep track of it, make sure you're less likely to forget getting the pictures that you want. So um, it's not that hard to do this, but it does involve a number of steps. So let me kind of show you how I did this. Why don't we go build this out into the powder bathroom? We'll kind of build it here. So I have my general photos, uh, general bathroom photos all set up. I'm going to click edit section, so we'll turn it green. We're going to add new. And let's call this um, overview bathroom photos. And we're going to give it a little modifier. So this is a cool thing to know. I use the windows period buttons. You hold the windows down and then the period and you can there's all these little emojis you can use so i'm just using uh, a little picture of a photo <laughs> so we'll add that okay so that's step one is now complete i've got overview bathroom photos and a little camera icon that doesn't get me a box so now i need to build a little observation box that connects to it so let's add observation um, you'll notice that in this one I've got it set that no modifier comes up, which is perfect. I don't want a modifier. These are just like no modifier picture narrative box here. Um, and then let's use the camera icon again. So Windows period. I'll just That's literally all I want in there. I, I don't want anything else because I'm just dropping pictures in. So I'm going to make this as simple as possible. So we will now add this to the library. We've added that to the library. So now we can get rid of it. And now that's step two. We now have an observation box and we've got a little pull down. So let's edit the section one more time. And this is the final step here. We're going to edit. We will edit this thing, right? We've got a little camera. So here's where we set our required field. That's going to turn it red. So now we're going to count this as a required field. And now we're going to do a suggested observation. And this is how we connect the box to this guy. So we'll hit that and hit next and that guy and hit save, save again. Does that make sense? I mean, now we've got, as soon as I hit this guy, I've got a little box. I drag my pictures in and we've got required photos that count against our, our number, our sort of counting system. Um, I hope that makes sense. That is setting required photos using the required fields feature. I uh, hope this video helps. Thanks a lot.